Okay, in order to do this, and this is really easy and simple, um, what you want to do is bring up a character, any old character, and then just go in and uh, open the mouth. Then you want to find the teeth, specifically the upper teeth, okay? And now you see the teeth and the diffuse. And what you want to do, eventually you want to remove one of these teeth out of the diffuse. But you can't just take it away from the diffuse. You have to go into the opacity channel, which is to the right. So, to find out which tooth you want to remove, go in, launch the editor, and then what I did, I took some red paint and painted over one tooth. And then I saved it. Once you save it, it'll go right back to the character. And there you it. There you are. <laughs> There's a red tooth there. So that's why I put the red paint over. Okay, so I know which tooth in this case I want to remove out of the uh, diffuse. But we're going to let me take and go backwards on this here. And now the tooth is back to normal. So I'm going to copy this from the diffuse channel and I'm going to paste it into the opacity channel and you'll see why I do this in a minute to paste now I'm gonna go and launch this because I want to edit this in the opacity channel anything that you blacken out will, will be invisible you won't see it anymore so in this case, I'm going to save this one too, but I'm going to I'm going to white out everything else because when I turn it all white, that means show. If I turn it all black, that means don't show. So I'm going to white over everything except that one tooth, and I want to get something that's sharp not not one of those fuzzy brushes otherwise you know it might just kind of spread over everything and you'll see why okay bring the opacity up to uh, 100% now I just white over everything except that one tooth I'm gonna get this a little bit more precise I'm gonna zoom into it last one and leave that one there because that's the one we're going to turn black and it will not show up effectively creating a gap so we can do this by um, taking a, a lasso and lassoing around it which I started to do and uh, then I thought about this I should be able to grab this really easy so I end up having to go back to the um, uh, go to the magic selector up there after a few tries here and you'll see that see I'm trying to to highlight around it but no nope, I got rid of that see that one magic selector that actually gets the whole tooth I mean it's the only thing that you can select on there because everything else is white So now I go back, I go down here and I get a black. I want to I want to paint over that tooth black. That's not the right brush. Let's get the other one. 
to control Z here. Get that brush and I could just hit it and everything is blacking out there. So that gives me my gap. So I can save this now. Yeah, clean up clean up a little bit here. There's a little bit of something showing there. That it's not gonna really matter, but you know me, I'm I'm sort of sort of a perfectionist at times. So now I save this and it'll automatically once I save it go to the character. As you can see, voila, there's a gap. And that's because of the opacity channel. Everything else is there, but I blacken out that one tooth, effectively creating a gap. It's like it's not there. Now what I can do is just tell it to close her mouth. Of course, she gets some flies in it. And then I'm going to have her to the lips to just open up just to see it from another perspective. So I go up here. I'm going to find my mouth. I got two here. There's one. But that doesn't show the lip seam. So I go to the other one down below it. Go to the lip seam. Okay, there you go. And then I go to open, close, lip seam. There it is. There's your gap. Easy as pie. Okay, so have fun.